Hello YouTube, this is the Latino Nerd coming at you with some breaking news. Well, not breaking anymore as in the whole day's gone by and I'm just getting some free time today. But Derrick Rose has gotten traded to the New York Knicks. I know, it's insane. And as a Knicks fan, I'm pumped because he's only here for a year, which means more than likely a player at his caliber is going to have a breakout year. And the the pieces the Knicks gave up, I'm okay with. Uh, they gave up Jose Calderon, uh, Jerrion Grant, and Robin Lopez. The only one I was a little sketchy about was Robin Lopez, only because it seemed like he was the only one that actually played defense uh, last year. But, you know what? Either way, I'm happy. I'm happy with this pick, and uh, the Knicks not only get Derrick Rose, they get uh, his backup Justin Holiday, and a second round pick for next year. I would have liked a second round pick from this year, maybe a late first round pick, because Robin Lopez uh, was a good player for the Knicks, but you know what? They got a good deal out of it. They got more than, they got more than uh, what was expecting, than uh, what was expected, excuse me. Uh, from the Chicago end, a lot of people have been criticizing uh, the Bulls because the fan base was thinking that Rose would be worth at least a future first round pick. And the Knicks obviously don't have a first round pick this year. They don't they don't have many uh, future first round picks because of the last couple of years with Isaiah Thomas uh, and all those other management folk that uh, traded away those first round pieces for um, players and pieces they thought would uh help the team be better in the long term but uh the Knicks get a second round pick next year they get a Derrick Rose and a Justin Holiday uh Jose Calderon I'm fine with he never played defense he always got beat by any other point guard in the league uh Dryan Grant uh the potential was there I honestly thought he deserved more playing time but you know what I'm not in control maybe Phil Jackson and uh Jeff Hornacek saw something in uh Jerrion Grant that uh made them say hey you know what maybe we can uh, live without uh, him being on the team. And also, uh, like I said before, Robin Lopez, he's still under contract for three more, year, three, three, three more years. So he basically replaces Joakim Noah. And now there's talk of Dwight Howard and Joakim Noah possibly signing with the Knicks and joining Derrick Rose. And the Knicks have, they still have 30 million in cap space. They have uh, Derrick Rose on a rental year for one year. Then if they like him, they can re-sign him. If not, they can let him go. So it's really, it's a real good deal for the Knicks. Uh, they now it's just uh, to see if they can buy a second-round pick in the draft. Uh, they currently have five players on a contract. I think they should sign Kevin Serafin, give him more time as a backup center off the bench. Uh, I don't know if Dwight Howard would be a good fit with this Knicks, and I'm not talking about playing-wise. So, some playing wise, but he's a, he's a, still a great rebounder, a great defender, but it's his personality that I'm most concerned with. And when it comes to Dwight Howard, uh, that personality uh, conflicts is something, as a Knicks fan, I don't want to hear about. I don't want any drama. With Derrick Rose now in the mix, this team is expected to make the playoffs. Not making the playoffs would be a huge, huge uh, underwhelming season. It would be a huge letdown. Um, Joe Kim Noah, I can see, but at this point, he might be better off um, off the bench. I don't know any draft choices the Knicks can select. That would be good as a starting caliber center. There are options out there. So the Knicks, the Knicks are in good shape right now. I feel if they sign Kevin Serafin, maybe bring in Joe Kim Noah, um, limit his minutes, and you know what? Maybe. Just maybe the Knicks could look at 40 plus wins. They they need a 10 win improvement to make the playoffs. So with Derrick Rose and if they get the right key free agent signings, I feel they could definitely win at least 45 games. Um, it's the defense right now that's going to be the issue because now they got the point guard that uh, Melo and Porzingis desperately need. And you know what? Let's hope for the best as a Knicks fan. And the Bulls got a, a great player in uh, Jerrion Grant that has a really big upside. 
a good player, a good center in uh, Robin Lopez. And you know what? They got a, a veteran player in Jose Calderon that can come off the bench, uh, be a scorer, be somewhat of a facilitator. But uh, you know what? The Knicks, that, they made a great trade, and I am happy as a Knicks fan. So this is Latino Nerd. I am the Latino Nerd. <laughs> I shall see you uh, on another day. I will be post. Uh, I kept mentioning I was going to make a recap video. I just haven't had the time after coming back from vacation. Uh, went to uh, Florida last week, and then uh, there was a Puerto Rico trip a couple uh, months ago. And I've just been trying to figure out a day to consistently put out videos. But um, you know what? I shall keep you. Please follow me on Twitter at Latino underscore Nerd. If uh, for more updates on my videos, I always tweet about when uh, when I'm going to post a video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please follow me on Twitter for more. Again, the the username is at Latino underscore Nerd, and I shall see you soon.